In today's video, we are going to see how to secure your static website hosted on Amazon S3 with the help of a public SSL TLS certificate. One of the major criteria to boost up the search engine ranking for your website is to make it secure. So let's see how we can do it in easy steps. In order to implement this, we will be using Amazon Certificate Manager to get a certificate CloudFront to create a distribution and import that certificate to it, and then Route53 to have a user-friendly domain name with which your sub website can be accessed. For today's exercise, I'm going to use a static website which I have already created, and on top of that, I'll show you how to create uh, a secure channel for that. If you want a video to, so, to know how to create a ST static website, I can do it in a separate one. So let's start with the first part where we'll be in creating a certificate in Amazon Certificate Manager or ACM. So ACM console, uh, ACM is a regional service, so you will have to create certificate for each region where you have your website hosted. But when you're using it with the CloudFront, you can create a certificate in the US East one region and then use it with the CloudFront distribution. So ensure that you are in the North Virginia region, that is the US East one. So let's start with the Get Started button. Uh, it shows you two options, a public certificate and private. Private is already grayed out, so let's go with the public one because that is the free certificate. Uh, in this page, you have to provide the domain name which you are going to use uh, the certificate for. As we can see, the static website I have created is using a domain name as borrowedcloud.com. So I will use this uh, in the domain name. And then I'll click add another domain name and I'll put star.borrowedcloud.com. So it will be uh, applicable for all the subdomains which will be created for this domain. I don't have to create new certificate for every subdomain. Click Next. So now you have two options to validate the, uh, the certificate. One is the DNS validation and another is the email validation. So we'll go with the DNS validation. Uh, here, you, if you want to provide any tag, you can provide it, but we'll skip it. And then we'll just verify what we have given and then we'll say confirm and request. So now it is creating the certificate for the mentioned domains. And once we have those certificate created, we'll have to verify, validate those. So as you can see, it has created these certificates, but it is saying pending validation. So let's see what we have there. So here it is saying to create a C name, canonical name for the certificate uh, in the uh, Route 53. So let's click this, create. and also click the second one, create. As you can see, it says success. So let's go continue. And it is showing me that the certificate has been issued. Uh, currently it is not in use because we have just created the certificate. So uh, we will be using it further and it has all the details regarding the certificate we have just created. So now that certificate is created, we'll go ahead and create the uh, the cloud distribution on CloudFront, uh, where we'll be using the certificate. Uh, we don't have to import it anywhere right now. We'll just use the certificate in the CloudFront, and from there, it will be available to our website. So in the next section, we'll go to the CloudFront and see what steps we have to take there. First time I'm creating the distribution, I'm showing, uh, I'm being shown the, the welcome page. So let's click on the create CloudFront distribution. Here I have to provide the origin domain to which the CloudFront will be pointing. If I click here, it will show me all the available uh, origins. And uh, as you can see, we have the Amazon S3, we have Elastic Load Balancer and few more. So in S3, I have these many uh, origins available. And the one we have our static website based on is the covin.borrowedcloud.com. But there is one drawback, uh, which I will show you in the later part of the video. So if I select this, so what I'll do, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the, the endpoint of the static website 
which is available uh, in the static website hosting section of the S3 bucket. So I have copied that and let me put it uh, in the origin. So while, while putting the name, we don't want the HTTP part, so I'll remove it. And then we'll proceed further uh, with the next options. Uh, here we'll select the redirect HTTP to HTTPS. So this will ensure that if any user is accessing the website with HTTP, it will redirect to HTTPS and we don't have to do any additional additional steps. Uh, then it is showing me the methods it will be using. So this is good. Okay, we will add uh, the additional C name. So what we will do, we will select the name we have given here and we will add it to our CloudFront. We'll remove the HTTP part. Okay. Then we'll select the certificate which we have created in the previous step. And then we'll provide the description. And let's create the distribution. So as you can see, it will take some time. It is currently deploying. So let's wait for some time. Uh, and I'll pause the video uh, once the enable when, once the the CloudFront is available. I'll switch back, and then we'll see the next steps. Okay, so we are on the CloudFront page and we can see that the distribution we created is now enabled and it is available uh, to serve. So what we'll do, we'll copy the domain name and we will put it uh, here. So I have already done that. And as you can see, the domain name is pointing to the website. And now we can see a small lock in front of the website. That means it is a secured connection. But now you can see the problem that we have to always provide some uh, some name which is not user friendly and we have to remember this. So to solve this issue, we can create a record in our route 53, which will point, uh, which will have a proper name, domain name and it will point to the distribution we have created. So let's go to the route 53 and create a new record. So we can provide a name uh, which uh, I have given to my website that is covin.borrowedcloud.com. Uh, since we are pointing it to the cloud front, which is an Amazon with, uh, Amazon service, so we'll select the alias, and in the drop down we'll select the cloud front distribution. Uh, once we select this, if we click at this point, we will see whatever all the cloud front distributions available for us, and this is the one we have just created. So we can select this, and then we create the record. Uh, but as I mentioned, I already have a record created for covid.borrowedcloud.com. So instead of creating a new record, what I'll do, I'll just go to the record I have already created and I will edit that record. So let me edit this record. Uh, earlier it was hosted on S3 uh, web, uh, static website, so I'll just change it and I'll make it CloudFront. And in the distribution, I'll select the distribution we have just created. Uh, rest, everything is same, so I will save it. Okay, so now it is, uh, once it is saved, what we can do, I can access my website using this name with HTTPS. So, on a new tab, I have already pasted that, HTTPS, and then the covin.borrowedcloud.com. And if I press Enter, it should take me to the website uh, with the secured connection. Uh, okay, so as we can see, we have a proper website with a proper domain name and a secured uh, connection. So it is pointing to the CloudFront, and then CloudFront is pointing to the website we have created on our S3, uh, Amazon S3. So this is the way we have created a secured connection for our website hosted on Amazon S3. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll try to answer those. Uh, if you like this video, please click like. Thank you.